Welcome to Satya Skills. In this video, let us learn about Madhra School of Art and Gandhara School of Art and its differences, their differences. India being an ancient highly civilized land, patronized excellent art and architecture long before the development of other civilizations, its proof is Indus Valley art and architecture. In history, there were three major schools of art. They are uh, Mad Madhra school of art, Gandhara school of art and Amaravati school of art flourished in India. Madhra school of art. Madhura is in modern UP state and was the center of great art and architecture. It was at the peak of its glory during 2nd BC to 1st AD. It developed a distinct art form through sculpture. Madhura art was a continuation of previous art forms flourished around Madhura. Later it developed as a separate art form. According to historians, Madhura school of art is indigenous art that developed during Mauryan period and reached peak state during Gupta's period. Madhura art contributed significantly in creation of deities, statues and stone images belong to three important religions, Hinduism, Buddhism and Jainism. Madhura art became popular because for the first time they were able to depict the images of Buddha in a beautiful human form. Prior to that, Buddha was represented only in a symbolic form of stupa, bodhi, tree etc. Till the attempts of Madhura sculpture, no one saw Buddha in human form. The earliest images of Buddha and bodhisattva in human form were attributed by historians to Madhura art school. Buddha sitting under Bodhi tree is very beautiful and popular image of Buddha later. These techniques especially human forms were adopted by Gandhara artists. Madhura art center was able to send their wonderful masterpieces to different parts of Indian subcontinent. Early a form of Madhura art. Prior to 1st century BC, Madhura artists created images of Mahavishnu, Mahadeva Shiva and other Hindu deities. Popular images were Shiva with four heads, Ardhanarishwara, Umameshwara images, Mahavishnu, Surya Deva, Balarama, Sri Krishna, Govardhana Dari, and images of Surya Deva in a Rad, that is chariot, was very popular. Maha, Mata Saraswati in a simple way, sitting posture with Tala Patras, means manuscripts in one hand, Mata Durga as a Mahishasar Mardini, Mahalakshmi were also from Madhura Art Studios. There were also images of Ekshinis in Madhura art. The standing Buddha, Buddhas of Kausambi and Sarnath belongs to Madhura school of art. Sitting Buddha of Madhura art is in Padmasana and right hand is raised in Abhaya Mudra proves the influence of long established traditions of the land. Madhura art studio also created images of Jain Tirdhankaras in different forms such as sitting Mm, like uh, we can say that the Tirdhankas uh, blessing uh, people sitting in cross leg position, some are be standing beautiful positions. They also created the images of uh, emperors like some of the Kushan kings. Now let us look into Gandhara school of art. Gandhara school of art is also popular as Indo-Greek art and also Greek Buddhist art. It is one of the ancient Indian art schools popular during 1st century BC to 4th century AD. This kind of art developed in western region of India around Afghanistan and Pakistan which was popular ancient kingdom called Gandhara Desam. Thus this art became Gandhara art. The art has some traces of Greek art and is mostly depicting Buddha's life thus became popular as Greco Buddhist art. Gandhara is mostly associated with Mahayana Buddhism and most of the discovered art pieces were Buddha and Bodhisattva. Bamiyan Buddha statues were very popular. Bamiyan is a place. Gandhara art presented Buddha in human form in stone statues with minute and delicate expressions. Statues of Buddha were considered by historians as the most beautiful statues in the world. The art pieces were found in different parts around Jalalabad and Takshasila. Features of Gandhara art. Gandhara art was more realistic representation of human figures. 
Stone carving was highly skillful work and were able to carve muscles of the body. Also expressions were very clear. Another feature is skill of carving transparent garments and foldings of the cloth. Images were made out of black, grey, sandstone and a kind of plaster called stucco. And sekas and kushans were responsible for the development of Gandhara art. Now let us look into the differences between Madhura and Gandhara art. Madhura school was more based on indigenous art and was flourished uh, by the culture and traditions of the la uh, land. Example, Buddha image of Madhura was modeled on the tradition of Eksha images. Thus, Madhura art is more of indigenous Mauryan art, whereas Gandhara art influenced by Greek art. Buddha of Gandhara were more Hellenistic in features. Second difference, Madhura art worked for Hinduism, Buddhism and Jainism and also for secular images they came from Madhura art studio. Gandhara art concentrated on Buddhism. Madhura art uses spotted red sandstone. Red sandstone is the most popularly used one. Whereas Gandhara artists used bluish grey or black grey sandstone. Madhura developed during Kushan rule and also uh, Gandhara art developed during Kushan rule. That is all in this.